game here in Ohio Stadium, if you could put into words what you were feeling jogging out of the field that last time? It was pretty emotional. Kept it in. But uh, just seeing my mom, how happy she was, you know, that just made it so much more special, uh, the joy in her face. But yeah, that was a, this has been a rough day, you know, just realizing this is the last time we're going to be doing all from the walk to uh, walking on the field before the game and all that type of stuff. It was, it was pretty special. Jamarco, Billy said he wasn't taped up when you guys got a call back in. How unprepared were you to go back to the game? I that wasn't was taped up either. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, we were scrambling, but we, they called us to go back in and we had to go out there and score again, and we did. So, but, yeah, I wasn't really prepared for that either. <laughs> I had to cut my tape off and stuff, too. When you, like, do you play any more tentative, like, when you're not? I know it's just, like, it's just tape, uh, but you, nah. take, you do that for a reason. Like, are you worried about your, you're untaped and it's boring yeah. that something might happen? I mean, not really. Once you get out there, you don't really think about it too much. But, yeah, it was. it's just a weird feeling as a lineman, I guess, because we're always so used to being taped up and everything. So, but, I mean, once you get out there, you're playing football, so you don't really think about it too much. What about from a psych job? I mean, obviously, you you had already retired from the game, so I would think uh, yeah. psychologically. I mean, well, you know, obviously y'all you know, were going to go three and out, but they you know, got yeah. the fumbled punt and went on to score. Yeah, I said it felt like freshman year when they used to just throw me in <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. But I mean, uh, it's part of the game. You always got to be ready, you know, if stuff happens and you got to be ready to go back in there and you got to be able to respond. And I think we did a pretty good job with that. So Marco, what does it mean, especially the last two weeks, the offensive line, if these guys had a chance today, their defensive line was supposed to be pretty good and stuff, yeah. and you, you guys took control. Weber had another home run. What does, what does it say about you guys as a group up front and, and Mike too? I mean, I think we're just coming together and we're getting stronger and stronger every week. Uh, yeah, Mike's been looking really good. Uh, he's finally back to 100%. Huh? Thank you. Uh, but yeah, it's just a testament to our practice habits. You know, we're getting stronger and stronger in practice going up against our D-line and our scout team. And we're just getting closer as a unit and it's showing on the field. Jordan Marco, you said your line's one of the strengths of the team now. Can you talk maybe about the evolution, how it's been, maybe even from last year to this year, from your perspective? Yeah, I think last year we called us a lot closer together. Uh, we went through a lot of struggles together as a unit. And just all the criticism and things we faced last year, I think, really brought us close together this offseason. And uh, like I said, I think we're showing now we put in a lot of extra time, you know, as a unit. You know, on days when we had off as a team, we would still come in and as a unit and work on drills and stuff like that. So uh, I think it's really pretty, it paid off. It's paying off now. And it shows how much closer we've gotten, how much better we've gotten as a unit from the work we've done. Jamarco, you were, I guess, on the sidelines of 14 when, when the offensive line really got rolling, obviously, toward the end of the year. Is it too early to say whether or not you guys are heading toward that? Does this feel anything like the end of that year with this offensive line in particular? We're just trying to be the best 2017 that we can be. So whatever that means, you know, we're just trying to go out there and win ball games, do whatever it takes. But how comforting is it knowing that the next two opponents you guys are going to face in Michigan and Wisconsin have very talented defensive fronts? I know you guys probably haven't done personnel a ton, but what you know about those teams and you guys are streaking how you are right now, how comforting is that? Uh, you know, uh, those I'm really focused on the team up north right, right now. I'm not thinking too but much about specifically it. Michigan. But yeah, uh, they have a really good front, so we know we're gonna have to come prepared. That's a battle every year in the trenches. Every year they come out ready, and that's where the game is usually won at uh, in that game. And so we know we're gonna be in a hostile environment, and we don't have to, uh, you know, get used to some crowd noise and just be on the same page as a unit this week because it's gonna take all five of us on the same page every play to get this job.